Hi everybody and welcome to Usitility. Today is special we are going to see how to play Farmville 3 Animals on PC, as you can see now you can display it on your screen. It takes almost no time to simply download and install Farmville 3 Animals so that we can enjoy playing this game on the Windows PC with gamer keyboard if we want to, mouse and big screen. Then it's time to have fun, let's go buddies. Before anything else mates, to get started we need to open our favorite browser. We have here the one we use by default. Let's continue, going to this URL that I have highlighted in green. Now, you can see on the screen. There is no need to type it, simply because there's the clickable link in the description of this video in the first main comment. We arrived right here on our internet site of Usitility, exactly where we get a detailed explanation on the best way to download and install Farmville 3 Animals on personal computer. We browse down a bit and press on the download game on PC button. After clicking on this link, we get to the site of Bluestacks. No panic, it is only the Android emulator that we are going to use to play Farmville 3 Animals on the PC. As you can discover from here we have a great deal of pros of preferring using the emulator. Then, we are ready to proceed to download the Farmville 3 Animals by simply clicking on the button play on Bluestacks that you can visualize here in green. Next step is clicking on it. Of course, the download starts and ends immediately. Voila, this is the download. It's a file to execute. What we have to do is to launch the executable file. Okay, so we need to click on the file. Windows 10 users will be asked for permission to make changes to the system. We answered yes. I reduce the internet browser to view the installation software better. The installation software is straightforward. It includes two choices, install and setup path. I am going to explain what setup path really does. We basically just simply click on it. Therefore we observe that we get here the path where the emulator is going to be set up. If we want to change this folder we are required to click on that browse button and therefore we opt for another folder and install the emulator specifically where we choose i will set it by default then i click on back and therefore i simply click install great the setup starts and it's going to carry on with the download of these megabytes that happens to be visible on this screen as you download it it is likely to be a little bit more or less mb the data transfer rate will go at a higher speed or slower depending on your type of connection and depending on the speed capacity of the emulator hosting servers. Right now they are running superbly fast. The download is finished, and so at this point it continues with the setup phase. The installation will require a little bit more or less time primarily based on the strength of your computer. The more robust it's actually, the faster the installation time and or vice versa. If we integrate the download and software installation stage it can take quite a long time, so show patience. It has by now completely finished on my side. At this point, the emulator happens to be launched immediately. As you will notice, down here, there is a progress bar which will fill up so when it reaches the end, the emulator is started for the first time. The reality is the emulator was already launched, here for the first time. Before we continue on, as you can observe, it made two software icons here on the PC desktop. The Bluestacks and Bluestacks multi-instance. Note that the Bluestacks icon is going to be the only one we're considering. Each time we need to start Farmville 3 Animals on our laptop or computer, we twice click that icon and use the emulator. The Bluestacks multi-instance app icon is not about multiplayer or anything like that. Indeed, it's an software icon that we might most likely never ever start using. We should perform the next step, which is actually a requirement, and that is to access the Google Play Store. As you will notice the Google Play is started. There we must sign in. At present as soon as we are right here, we have to accomplish the next step that is definitely absolutely mandatory. So that we simply click on, sign in. At this point it shows, checking info. It may in some cases get blocked in, checking info, and this does not move ahead. In that case, you could try to connect to your account after a couple of hours and it'll probably be repaired. At this point we will type in our login name and password. The email must be a Gmail email as well as its associated password. As an example you may use the very same email you're using right now in your own YouTube account. Then I will submit my data and I will revisit when I have completed it. That's all, details inserted. Below is Google welcoming us and providing us the terms of service. We will say yes to them all by simply hitting, I agree. After that, it make us possible to backup to the Google Cloud. You might let it checked and it will produce a backup of your data files on this device to Google Drive. I will not check it, you do what you want. We click on accept. The Google Play Store is launched by default and immediately. To set up the app game, we need to go to the emulator desktop for Android by double-clicking on the icon designated green-colored. Currently that we are watching the desktop of the Android emulator, we observe that we now have here the install video game option. We click or double-click on this button. 
at this point we get the video game. Let's quickly simply click here on the install button that I'm presenting now in green color. This will begin the setup. At this time it should download and install the game, it typically takes a bit of time or perhaps it could possibly be very quick. It again all is subject to on our internet access. This has just ended installing. Back to the emulator desktop by pressing that option that I'm highlighting in green, in order to launch Farmville 3 Animals for the very first time. Shall we mouse click on the My Games choice proceeding? I am by then on the emulator desktop, and consequently we are about to simply click on this new Farmville 3 Animals software icon which was provided. That video game is launched for the first time on your device. Now there we have it, I can click anywhere on the screen and also make use of the keyboard. I am going to discuss the volume of this emulator. It's here. We have the icon of higher volume and the icon of lower volume, this manner we don't count on the Windows volume to increase or decrease the music of your emulator. As well as to take pleasure in the experience to the max, we should switch on the big screen, for which we have two options. That is actually the first one, we mouse click on this particular icon that I'm designating in green color. Then the monitor is maximized, getting one border at the top, one at the right and one at the bottom. Supposing that we wish to experience the app in full screen, we hit this app icon. And therefore we would likely by now be experiencing the game app in full screen mode. To leave the complete screen functionality, hit the F11 key. And therefore we would probably by now end up being in regular screen mode. From now, I am starting to present you the keys mapping that is actually very appealing. That step we will probably be capable to make use of the game application far more easily. The first task is to mouse click this software icon. It's now time to make the appropriate configuration settings. I will leave the default settings, though if you really want to modify that, you may very well do so without any problem. Perhaps you have realized, the emulator is totally in our language. Occasionally it happens that the emulator is launched in the wrong language, such as, in Mandarin. So to place it in the correct language we browse here to the cogwheel. So there within various other options, we simply click on the language, drop down. We can decide on the language we need, German, Mandarin, etc. After the language is determined, we are going to save, the emulator would reboot, as well as the Android game, next time we launch it, would of course be in the opted for language. At this time, there's another aspect that we need to take into account, and it is that we will receive a message from Gmail telling you that a different equipment has been linked to our own Google account. It will definitely check with us if we are the individuals who have associated with that electronic device. Yup, we should not worry, simply because the emulator is simulating in Google Android smartphone or tablet. And then to discover which electronic device is currently being emulated, we return here, to the cogwheel and we just click on it. So we go here to the, model, option. And there we determine that the emulator is emulating a Samsung cell phone. And so we're going to receive an email saying that a new Samsung device has been connected to our Google account. This is it folks, so much for this video tutorial. I anticipate you liked it, especially that you thought it was interesting. If that's so, offer it a nice thumb up, subscribe, and I will be happy to answer your feedback, requests or ideas, put them in the comment box below. You can even leave a remark on my Twitch channel, I conduct live streams occasionally, you get it below in the video description and in the very first pinned comment. Check out any of those videos that are appearing on the computer screen and see you in the following videos. Bye.